and we're going to be champions, we can't be fair weather people. We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the pocket. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the Rattler. Go Rattlers, go! And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike again. I hate this could get ugly. from Lake Charles. All right, here we go. High end over end kick. And it's going to be fielded at the 10-yard line. This is James Owens spinning and turning, and Owens goes down at the 30, where the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there, moving left to right as we start the Atlanta Football Classic. The Jaguar linebackers, Detrain Lindsay, 5'11", 196, a redshirt sophomore from Houston, Texas, and Al Anthony Balancier, 6'1", 214 from New Orleans. The middle linebackers, Demetrius Carter, 6 feet. 222, a redshirt freshman from Chicago, Illinois. The corner, Jonathan Mack, 5'8", 169 from Newark, New Jersey. And Virgil Williams, 5'9", 167 from Shreveport, Louisiana. Demikas Cook, 5'10", 185 is a strong safety. And Michael Bell, now I've heard that name before, 5'10", 185 from Gina, Louisiana. Yeah, and from Gina, Louisiana. You're exactly right. All right, here we go. Uh, Travis Harvey is isolated to the far side. The Rattlers, Damian Fleming is going to load twin receivers to the near boundary here and have a two-back set. Now going to shift Owens out of the backfield and going to toss it out here. Oh, it's actually Lee Williams, the speech out of Tallahassee McClay, and Lee is going to be bumped out of bounds at the 34-yard line. And so on first down, the Rattlers are going to pick up five. The ball was spotted at the 29. Lee's going to pick up five. Second down and five to go for the Rattlers of Florida a and Yeah, Lee Williams, part of that speed that we talked about, Keith, that should really show itself on this carpet inside the Georgia Dome. All right, here we go. Second down and five to go for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at our own 34-yard line. Again, we're moving left to right. Adams and Felix this time, along with Linworth Lennon, to the far boundary. Near side, it's Travis Harvey. And this time, we're going to give it to Eddie Rocker. And Eddie picks his holes, turns up field, goes down at about the 38-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and about one to go for Rattler first down. And Mike, the Rattler offense creating some holes, some running lanes for the Rocket Man. Yeah, that's nice to see again. Good block over on that left side. And again, it was Drew Savory, the young man that we talked about out of North Florida Christian, getting a good push on his man to open up a hole. All right, the Rocket checks out. And here we go. The Rattlers this time going to send... Travis Harvey wide to the far boundary. Twins to the near side. It's Felix and Linworth Lennon. And it's James Owens in the backfield with Damian Fleming. And this time we give it to Owens. And Owens tries to turn that corner. He's not going to get the first down, Mike. That's a great surge from the Southern University uh, interior defensive line. Looks like it was number 57, Javon Allen, who stepped up to help make that stop. And looks like number 49. Uh, Anthony Balancier, 6'1", 214, a junior out of New Orleans, Louisiana. It's going to bring up fourth down and one for the Rattlers. And on the punt is Brandon Holdren. And the Jaguars are going to send Virgil Williams deep to receive. Good snap for Holdren. And Holdren gets off. A kick's going to be fielded at the 24-yard line by Virgil Williams. He eludes one rattler. Penalty marker goes down, and boy, he is knifed under. That was a vicious hit down there by big number 91 for the Rattlers. Romario Chisholm. Chisholm. Romario Chisholm. And so 
Let's see what the official indication is. Yeah, the first uh, blocker, Keith, got a block in the back. And that's going to force the Jaguars to have to start deep in their own territory on their first series. Block in the back. On the receiving team. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. First down, Southern. Okay, so the Jaguars are going to start now from their own nine-yard line. Let's take a look at the Southern offense. Lee Doss will start at the wide receiver. Chris Brown is the left tackle. The left guard is Zach Brown, center Aaron Hall. The right guard, Dwayne Houston. The right tackle is Anthony Mosley and the tight end, Bradley Coleman. It's Darius Coleman, although we will see Sylvester Zinzikwi uh, quite a bit tonight at running back. Dre Joseph, the starting quarterback under center. And he gives to his eye back. Boy, the ball pops out. Let's see that the Rattlers recover. There's a fight for it. And it looks like number eight for the Rattlers comes up with the football. That's Brandon Denmark. And let's see. The Rattlers have it. The Rattlers have the football at the southern seven-yard line. Brandon Denmark comes up with the football. The Rattlers came with the safety blitz on that first play, Keith. He was met in the backfield by several Rattler defenders. And the first big break of the ball game goes to FAMU. The seven-yard line is where this ball is going to be spotted. So Horn has start the clock, and here we go. 13.06, the Rattlers are knocking at the door at the southern seven-yard line. Linworth Lennon now goes to the bunch side as we bunch three, isolate Travis Harvey. And Damien's going to pass. Pump fakes, pulls it down, looking for a block. Tries to fire in the end zone, and it's caught. That's Travis Harvey for the touchdown. And, Keith, the funny thing about that is they There's tried to double cover him. But, the, but Damian Fleming, moving around, extending the play, finds his favorite receiver in the end zone, and the Rattlers jump out to a 6-0 lead with 12.56 to go here in the first quarter. Travis Harvey got clear as he saw his running, his quarterback in trouble and got enough clearance for Damian to toss the pass up, and Travis goes up and gets it. And the Rattlers take the early 7-0 lead now as Chase Vonador adds the extra point. It's 7-0 with 12.56 to play here in the first quarter in Atlanta. And we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida A&M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster Program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850 224-6093. It's not too late. Ready to kick it off to the Southern Jaguars. Virgil Williams is back there along with Jaleel Richardson. He returned 186 yards for a touchdown last week. This is Williams, and Williams going to be hit and drop. Oh, boy, great kick coverage down there by the Rattlers of Florida a &M. Yeah, it looks like George Maxey. The first Rattler to get there, 6'2", 230, out of Jacksonville, Florida. Keith, a linebacker who has the ability to play safety, too. Really valuable guy to coach Holmes' defense. All right, here come the Jaguars again. Dre Joseph at quarterback, 6'2", 213, a junior out of Baton Rouge. The fullback is Brian McCain, 5'11", 245, a junior out of Chicago, Illinois. Michael Berry, Mike, is the guy that's making a lot of noise for the Jaguars last week, 6'3", 215. The senior out of McGee, Mississippi, caught uh, – about seven passes last week for over 115 yards. This time they run it again right up the middle. Looks and just, yeah, looks like Brandon Davis, number 54, able to get in on that play yeah. for a short gain of two. Yeah, Darius Coleman was the ball carrier. It's going to bring up second down and eight to go for the Southern University Jaguars. The ball resting. At the Southern 31-yard line. 12-18 to play. The Rattlers leading 7-0. Joseph now under center. And Trey Joseph, short drop, throws it out there. That pass is incomplete. It was intended for the tight end, Bradley Coleman, who was open for a brief second. But two Rattlers in coverage over there, Marvin Ross and Brandon Denmark. And it falls incomplete makes it third down and eight for the Southern Jaguars. You know, we mentioned John Ocho, Keith, but he is not out on the field right now. It looks as though Jonathan Pillow 
is going to get the start today at safety. Six feet, 195-pound redshirt junior from Jacksonville. Yeah, John has been nursing a turf toe, and it's been, you know, that's one of those injuries that no matter how bad you want to go, if that toe is hurting, there's nothing you can do. All right, a little shifting and motion by Southern. Joseph looking to pass downfield. Now flushed out of the pocket. He throws back, makes a connection to his big receiver, number 82 for Southern. Justin Woods, and he moves the chains. Looks like there may be an infraction on the play, though. Maybe and coming back for a It looks like they're moving back. I was just about to say. Illegal shift. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Replay. Third down. Okay. Illegal shift is the call. It goes against Southern. Makes it third down. And about 11 to go now for a Southern first down. Yeah, two guys moving at the same time. Hey, Keith, the might real quick update. I know y'all was talking about Ojo. He's actually not even dressed out today. He has, a, has the, um, the boot on his foot. And um, keep your eyes on Damian Fleming as well as number 46, Bobby Jackson. They're kind of nursing both guys on the sideline. Okay. It's a great update on John Ojo. Boy, really hope he can. Boy, that pass was kind of tried to set up a screen pass in the backfield for the running back, Darius Coleman. It was deflected and batted down. And it's going to bring up fourth down. For Southern and so so far this afternoon Mike the Southern offense has been has been able to do absolutely nothing against this Rattler defense and it's Brandon Denmark again who comes in and bats that ball down. Keith and a group of stud linebackers Brandon Denmark may be the best of them all. 6'4", 235 outstanding pass rusher. Rattlers only have 10 men on the field. Linworth Lennon was trying to signal to get the the extra man on. I don't think we're going to get it. And here we go. Gets off a high, nice spiral. Linworth calls for the fair catch and makes it at the 33-yard line. So that's where the Rattlers will begin our third possession of the afternoon, it's leading 7 nothing. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny that they mentioned that uh, Damian Fleming was being nursed on the side. We didn't see him uh, against any contact on that last play. Let's see what he looks like as he comes back onto the field. Hey, guys, I got another update for Damien. It actually was, uh, I guess he got a cut. I guess we should call it a rug burn out here now. So they was kind of nursing him. He just had a little bit of blood. They had to get off the uniform. So that's what it was. They were bandaging, bandaging it up. Okay. We are playing on that uh, this new turf. And uh, so it's not grass. So it's not as giving as grass here in the Georgia Dome. All right, Damien, under center. Orange helmets are down. Backs are in the I formation. And looks like the Rocket Man is the eye back. Play action. Fleming fires. He got his man out there on the wing. And that's Dwayne Harvey. He lunges forward. He's going to be a yard short of the first down. But he's going to pick up nine yards on that first down play. Yeah, you can see Dwayne Harvey, Keith, a sophomore, growing into his role as a receiver. Uh, one of the things that you will see a young receiver do in that case is dance around and not get any yardage. That time he danced for just a second before he turned it north and south and gets within a yard of a first down. Second down and one for the Rattlers. 10-57 to play. First quarter. Rattlers leading 7 nothing, And with the football at our own 44, 43-yard line. Damian Fleming looks to pass. Throws the out. It's out here by Linworth Linden. Puts a move on the Southern Jaguar. Another move into Southern territory and down at the 47, 48-yard line. And that's a Rattler first down. They'll move the chains. He went with his old freeze move last week. Keep this time he shakes a couple of uh, defenders for the Jaguars, and that's another first. Hey, the Jaguars keep up playing a lot of zone defense, and if you remember the last time uh, he saw this much zone was up in South Carolina, and there were only five completions in that game. All right, here we go. Incompletions. Rattlers isolate Travis Harvey over here to the near side and send Linworth Lennon. And uh, another receiver to the far side. He fires out here for Travis. He makes the catch. He's bumped out of bounds at the 39-yard line. That's going to be real close to another Rattler first down. It's going to make it second down and one to go for FAMU. Uh, the other thing that uh, the Jaguars seem to be doing, Keith, is basically staying with their base personnel. Last week we faced a nickel defense probably 75% of the time, but the Jaguars right now stand with their base personnel against the Rattler spread. 
Adamson Felix this time along with Dwayne Harvey far side here comes Linworth Lennon in motion to that side there'll be three there play action we throw this bubble screen out here it's caught by Adamson Felix and Felix is going to have the first down as he pushes his way to the 35 yard line of Southern and that will move the chains. Yeah, Adamson Felix only one year of varsity football down at Lake Worth High School a walk on to the Rattles but he has worked his way into this receiver rotation and gets the first down inside the 40 yard line. Yeah, they actually spotted at the 34 yard line of Southern. So at 10.07 to play, the Rattlers are on the move at the Southern University 34 yard line. Travis Harvey far to the wide side. Dwayne Harvey wide to the near side. This time it's an eye back. They give it to Eddie Rocker. And Eddie down at the point of attack on the stop for Southern is Casey Narcisse, 5'10", 295, the redshirt senior out of St. James, Louisiana. Narcisse, small and stocky, 5'10", close to 300 pounds, was able to get penetration. All right, here we go. Second down and 10 to go for the Rattlers from the Southern 34-yard line. Damian this time, play action. Fires across the middle. That pass is caught by Lee Williams at the Southern 30-yard line. That's going to be a pickup of about four yards to make it third down and about six to go for a Rattler first down. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Rattler Sports Network. All right, here we go. Rattlers. Very much like Sean D, locked and loaded. Travis Harvey to the near side of the field, twins to the far side, and Damian Fleming sets up in the gun, fires that pass downfield for Linworth Lennon, and it comes up incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down and about six to go for a Rattler first down. Yeah, and the Rattlers keep trying to decide whether they want to go for this or not. It's a little long for a field goal, but maybe too short for a punt, but they're going to give him a chance to kick a long field yeah, goal here. Chase Varnador. Mike Chase Varnador's grandfather has been at to every football game this season, and we saw him this morning at breakfast, and he's, he's excited. He said, I've been up since 4 o'clock. I'm ready to go. Yeah, and he's taking uh, Jerome Swain's advice. I see him. He has his jacket now for every game. <laughs> All right, Chase going to attempt what will be a 47-yard field goal. Snap placement kick is airborne. Oh, it hit the upright and is no good. Boy, it was close, Mike. Hit the upright but falls no good. As timeout here in Atlanta, 8.30 to play. The Rattlers leading 7 to nothing, And we'll be back to the Georgia Dome after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Along with quarterback Dre Joseph. Joseph. What bad ball, snap. Bad snap. And Joseph just dives on top of it to save anything else from going wrong. And the ball is going to be down way back now at the 15-yard line. And so a loss of 15 yards on that play is going to make it Second down and 25 to go now for Southern University. Yeah, and Southern University is sputtering really badly on offense. The Rattlers uh, should try to take advantage of these early Southern woes. Southern this time sending Jordan Bilbo wide to the far boundary. Actually going to spread, load up the spread with twins to either side for Dre Joseph. Fires over the middle, got a big tight end, and he makes the catch, moves the chains across 
the 25 to about the 27 yard line. That pass was caught by Rashawn Allen. And that's going to get them back to within 13 yards of the original, or well, three yards for the original line of scrimmage. So that's a 12 yard pickup and make it third down and 13 now for Southern. Third down and 13 for the Jaguars. Dre Joseph, play action. Boy, he had, he was pressured out of the pocket. Now he's gonna have to pull it down and run. He's got a landing, he's gonna pick up the first down. That's a great bit of display by the Southern quarterback. He was forced out of the pocket twice there, Mike. Pulled it down and just took off. Yeah, eluded the first blitzer and then able to get by Terry Johnson, a cornerback, as he headed downfield. That's an excellent run. And first down by Dre Joseph. Yeah, Southern with a first down now at their own 47-yard line, but a great play by the Southern quarterback. Rattlers had it read correctly with the blitz coming, but he eluded two Rattler defenders and scooted outside to pick up the first down. Ball's resting at the Southern 47. They give it to Coleman and Darius Coleman. Across midfield in the Rattler territory, down at about the 46-yard line, maybe the 47. We'll see where they spot the football at the 47. And so on first down, he's going to get about seven, make it second down and three now for Southern. Unbalanced line to the near side this time for Southern. That's the strong side of the formation. They give it to Coleman again. He runs to the opposite side, and boy, on the stop, there for the Rattlers is Devin Roberts. And boy, he came up from his safety spot, Keith, and he's going to make a tackle for a loss of about three yards. Devin Roberts, a 6'1", 200-pounder out of Ocala Forest High School. There was some serious holding going on over there, too, Mike. The wide receiver grabbed Terry Johnson's jersey, and you know it's holding because you can see the jersey being pulled. Got a possession down, third down on the Looks like about six to yeah, go. Yeah, long five, six yards. Possession play for the Jaguars. Here we go. Twins near side are going to send that man in motion. And Dre Joseph tosses it out here. The Rattlers, this is Jonathan Pillow. He tried to juke away from Pillow. But Pil no, it's, a number, it's Marvin Ross. And Marvin Ross, Mike, has been playing outstandingly well this season. He held on and would not let uh, the Southern receiver pull away. That was Lee Doss, and boy, it's going to bring up fourth down for Southern. The ball resting at the Rattler 45-yard line. Yeah, Rattlers might want to be ready for a fake right here as the Jaguars are on the plus side of the field. All right, Terry Johnson is deep to receive. On the punt for Southern is uh, Chase Tootin. I understand his dad actually played. Uh, actually, it's not Tootin. It's a different punter, but a beautiful punt, though. And it takes a roll and bounces out of bounds. So it was Chase Tootin. His father, Mike, was an NFL punter. Rick Tootin. Rick Tootin. Rattlers this time start with their worst field position. 13-yard line. Moving left to right. 4.47 to play in the first quarter and leading 7-0. Damian Fleming's unload up the gun. He's got twin receivers to the far boundary. Isolates Travis Harvey over here to the near side. Jaguars bringing the blitz, but Fleming has good protection. Escapes, pulls it down, and fights his way out to about the 16-yard line. And so Damian on first down. What would have been uh, stopped for a sack is going to pick up about three yards and make it seven down and seven for the Rattler first down. Yeah, and you see some of the maturation right there of Damian Fleming, Keith, uh, able to get back into the pocket, have that clock in his head, tell him it's time to pull the football down. He goes ahead and gets what he can, a nice little three-yard game. All right, here we go. Rattlers go twins again to the far boundary and isolate Travis Harvey over here to the near side with uh, James Owens in the backfield. That pass is caught by Linworth Lennon right at the 20-yard line before he is just driven back. Linworth, a smaller kind of receiver. But, Mike, uh, those... Uh, those little water bugs can make things happen. And he's going to pull us within three yards of a first down. It's going to bring up third down now and three to go for a Rattler first down. Yeah, and you see a lot of the Rattler offense designed to get those little water bugs out in space where they can do damage. All right, here we go. Linworth this time works the slot to the near side along with, uh, looks like uh, Travis Harvey. 
And here we go. It, it was Dwayne Harvey, and they tossed that pass out there to Linworth, and he's going to pick up the first down and move the chains. And just like we just said, Mike, once again, the little water bugs getting out in space and creating uh, some opportunities for the Rambler offense. Sure hands uh, is the thing that you describe that is best describes Linworth Lennon, Keith. Uh, of course, he had uh, 12 catches up in South Carolina last year. Came out of a program that really throws the ball down in Fort Lauderdale. All right, Travis Harvey isolated now near side. Linworth comes to the near boundary. Travis to the far side, that is. And here we go. We're going to run the screen pass out here from James Owens. And Owens scoots past one Jaguar, two Jaguars, three Jaguars. Still on his feet, but he spun and stepped out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. A lot of effort there for James Owens. Just not quite aware of where that in line was. And as he tried to make his move, Missed and stepped out of bounds. But tough to tackle is, again, uh, the Rattler offense gets one of its speedsters out in open space, and he gets a nice first down game. Yeah, second down and seven. James picks up three. Going to send Adamson, Felix, Dwayne Harvey, and Linworth Lennon, triplets to the far boundary. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one down here, Keith. And this time we give it to James Owens again. James tries to turn the corner, but we get a great defensive play coming up. From the Sam linebacker, Anthony Balancier, 6'1", 214, a junior out of New Orleans, Louisiana. And he steps in right there as James Owens was trying to make his cut to turn up field. And we're going to lose yards on the play and make it third down now and nine for Rattler first down. One of the early adjustments, Keith, here by the Southern defense. You see them uh, going away from the two safeties high. That time they came with the blitz, one safety high, a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Third down and nine for the Rantlers now. Balls resting back at our own 26-yard line. Fleming loads up the spread, wants to pass. Sets up in the pocket, has time, pulls it down, is going to run. He's got a lane, turns back. He's going to be a little short of a Rantler first down as he goes down at about the 34-yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down and about two and bring Brandon Holdren on the punt. And the Jaguars are going to send Virgil Williams deep to receive. Yeah, good coverage down the field that time for the Jaguars. Uh, Damian pulls it down, stopped just about two yards short of the first. All right, Jaguars look like they're going to try and set up a punt block. But Holdren gets off a nice end over an end kick, takes a rattler roll. Williams is going to field this at the 15, and he's going to be hit and dropped at about the 18-yard line. That's good kick coverage down there, Mike by the Rattler special team. Antoine Matthews and, again, Devon Roberts down there on special teams. Devon Roberts off to a good start. The state uh, has defeated North Carolina a t by a score of 21-18 to with nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It's South Carolina State 14, Norfolk 0, and also a final Howard 56, Savannah State 9. And, of course, we will be headed to the nation's capital next weekend. Yeah. That's going to be some kind of rematch between FAMU and Howard next week in D.C. All right, when play resumes, Southern will have a first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Dre Joseph loads up the gun. He's got two backs in the backfield, and they run the draw play, and it's Darius Coleman slips a couple of Rattlers and goes down at about the 24-yard line. So that's a gain of four. Second down and about six to go. Actually going to give him five. So second down and five to go for Southern. The ball spotted just shy of the 25-yard line. Yeah, nice bit of play faking there as uh, the Rattler linebacker on that side really was in a position of Bobby Jackson to stop that play for a loss. All right, Southern this time. Dre Joseph from the gun and got his back. Not quite a pistol. He's actually going to follow his back and he's going to fight his way across the 25 to the 26 and it'll bring up third down and four for Southern. Yeah, that's actually a design run right there for Dre Joseph. Brings up another passing situation, though, and the Rattlers get some substitutes in in their dime package as Antoine Matthews checks in. Yeah. Uh, along with a number six for the Rattlers, George Maxson. All right, a possession play for Southern. Third down and four, triplets to the far boundary. Rattlers threatening blitz and bring the blitz. Joseph's pass is deflected right up in the air, and boy, De Devin Roberts didn't realize the ball. He could have picked that thing off and run it into the end zone, but he didn't know where it went. But it was deflected, went straight up in the air. It's going to bring up fourth down 
for Southern. Yeah, Devin was the guy that actually tipped that football. Keith and Winstreet couldn't find it anywhere uh, when it falls incomplete. But again, the Rattlers stop the Jaguars and force another punt. Rattler defense uh, looking pretty good here. And looks like we've got a timeout taken down on the field with, uh, oh, that's going to be the end of the first quarter with our score. FAMU 7, Southern nothing, and we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. It's the program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. And Southern, boy, seems to be taking a little time to snap this football. Here we go. And Tootin gets off a, boy, it looks like he may have squibbed that one off the side of his foot. And Linworth is going to let it roll. It's going to roll all the way down to the 20, looks like 22-yard line. And so the Rattlers will begin our first possession of the second quarter from there. And in, when it comes out, Keith, that's going to look like a great punt, but he got about a 20-yard roll on really one that he shanked. First quarter stats, Damian Fleming, 10 of 11 for 61 yards and one touchdown. Dre Joseph, 2 of 5. Fleming also the leading rusher for the Rattlers right now with 11 yards. I want to say hi to George Godfather Thompson listening in down in Tallahassee. And also Mr. Clifford Swain. He's listening in over in Havana, Florida. Yeah, my mom listening in on 96.1. Uh, yeah. Randy Thomas. Yeah. After the big birthday celebration. After the last big birthday week. celebration. Yeah. Happy birthday, Miss Thomas. Here we go. I formation for the Rattlers. And it is Damian Fleming under center this time. Orange helmets are down. The Rattlers load the I formation. And we've got penalty markers. Looks like a delay of the game. But the play clock. Well, they're going to get the Rattlers for a delay Five of the game. Five-yard penalty remains first down. All right, the Rattlers are guilty for delay of game infraction. And it'll be first and 15 now. The ball back at our own. 16-yard line, 14.44 to play here in the first half, second quarter. We begin, this is our first possession of the second quarter. All right, here we go. The Rattlers send triplets to the far boundary, and they isolate Travis Harvey over here to the near side. And we got penalty markers thrown on that play. That pass is caught by Linworth Lennon. And Linworth lunges forward out to about the 38-yard line, but this may be coming back. I don't know, Keith. It came out pretty fast, so I'm guessing that maybe one of the Jaguars was lined up in the neutral zone. And if that's the case, it'll be declined by the Rattlers. But if it's an illegal formation, then they're going to back the Rattlers up. Illegal formation. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Replay, first down. And illegal formation it is, so it nullifies an outstanding reception from Damian Fleming to Linworth Lennon. Moves the Rattlers all the way back to our 11-yard line and makes it first down and 20 now with 14.34 to play as we try and get our first uh, possession of the second half, of the second quarter, that is going. Rattlers load the spread this time. Give it to the Rocket Man. And Eddie Rocker scoots his way to the 20-yard line, so he's going to get uh, shoot, let's see, about 
Feeling good. Nine yeah. of those back make it second down and 11. Yep. That's, that's a great run for by the Rocket. And a good call from the sideline, Keith. That's the, that's the first time we've seen Southern in the nickel defense. We ran right at it and were able to get a nice little game. Second and 11 for the Rattlers as Eddie, the Rocket, picks up nine yards. We load triplets to the near boundary now and isolate Harvey to the far side. Fleming pulls it down. He's going to run. He's got a lane. And, he, boy, he slips as he made his cut. But he gets it back inside the original line of scrimmage, and it'll bring up third down and about eight to go now for a Rattler first down. Yeah, again, he's going to get positive yardage. Make this a little more manageable third down play. Southern University playing that uh, most for the most part a bend, but don't break philosophy, keeping two safeties deep. But when they are going to blitz, you'll see that one safety high and them go man to man. Again, they are out there with a nickel package. All right, here we go. Rattlers go triplets to the near boundary. Now going to send Lenworth in motion to the far side. So we'll have twin receivers to either side to spread as Damien steps up, fires. That pass is caught by Lenworth Lennon. And, boy, he tried to stay in bounds, Mike, but couldn't. But he moves the chains as he gets out of bounds at the 35-yard line, and that's more than enough for a Rattler first down. Yeah, had Lenworth been able to stay in bounds, Keith, he had a blocker in front of him and only one defender to beat. But it is a first down out to the 35-yard line. All right, Rattlers on the go, 12:44. Balls resting at our own 35, moving right to left. And this time, the Rattlers send Adamson Felix and Linworth Lennon, twins to the near side, isolate Travis Harvey to the far side and load the tight end there. And this time, we give it to James Owens. He's got some running room, cuts back, and James fights his way all the way out to the 48-yard line. That's a Rattler first down, and they'll move the chain. Another good call, Keith, as the Jaguars now trying to keep that nickel package on the field so they can match up with the Rattler receivers. But now the offensive line is starting to open up some holes for the Rattler runners. First and 10 Rattlers, balls resting in our own 48 with 12-15 to play. Travis Harvey wide to the far boundary. And it's Linworth Lennon and Adamson Felix now to the near side. Jaguars bring the blitz. We give it to the running back again. Let's see, this time it is Owens. And Owens turns upfield, gets into Jaguar territory at about the 49-yard line. That's a gain of about two. Make it second down and eight to go now for a Rattler first down. And it looks like this time, Keith, they're going to keep both, both Rattler runners, Eddie Rocker and James Owens, in the backfield at the same time. Don't often see that formation. Travis Harvey wide to the far side. And now Owens comes wide to the near side. Play action. Fleming sets up, fires across the middle. That pass is caught by Dwayne Harvey. And Dwayne Harvey takes it down to the 36-yard line of Southern. And that's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. Yeah, now you see them starting to work the middle, Keith, against that zone defense of the Southern Jaguars. And you see, again, the great accuracy of Damian Fleming. There's a lot of good quarterbacks around, Keith. And a lot of, of course, they talk about the guys in FBS. There are not a lot of quarterbacks that are more accurate than Damian Fleming. Damian Fleming and the Rattler offense now with a first down and 10 at the Southern 37-yard line. Jaguars bringing the blitz again. They give it to the Rocket Man who runs right at the blitz, and he's going to be hit and stopped at the point of attack. It'll make it second down and 10 for the Rattlers of Florida a &M. Yeah, the Jaguars trying to mix some blitzes in with this zone defense, but the Rattler receiver is not having a lot of problems getting open so far this afternoon. 10-41 to go before halftime. Rattlers leading seven to nothing. Looks like Benet Fryer came up to make the stop that time. Second and ten for the Rattlers. And this time the Rattlers go. Twins near side and boy the Jaguar that's going to be a question. Yeah the that's got to be against the Jaguar. Anytime you come into the uh, you break the neutral zone the offensive player can move of course to protect himself. Let's get the official call. Yeah, couldn't he get, didn't get the crowd mark that time, but it's a five-yard penalty for offsides. We'll yeah, bring up a second down and about four now. And so, yeah, second and four for the Rattlers after the infraction against Southern. 
10-20 to go in the first half. 7-0 the Rattlers lead, and the Rattlers are on the move. Damian Fleming, and again we've got movement. All right, this time the big tackle just sort of rocked back on his own, so the Rattlers are going to give back the, the five, five yards that they just picked up. Right to the snap. False start. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty remains second down. So it makes it second down now and nine to go for uh, the Rattlers. Travis Harvey wide to the far side. Linworth Linden and... Yeah. One Larry. safety high, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Yeah, receiver to the Twins to the near side. Fleming sets up the pass, throws the underneath, and it's caused a drag route coming across the middle to uh, it's Big Mike Etheridge. Big Mike Etheridge. And Etheridge going to pick up about four and make it third down and five to go. Actually, maybe pick up five and make it third down and four to go for a Rattler first down. Yeah, Big Mike has really improved his pass catching, Keith, from last year. Actually, uh, his hands may have been a liability, although he was a good blocker, but He's been a good pass catcher this year. Third down and four for the Rattlers. 9.32 to go in the first half. And the Rattlers up 7-0. Damian Fleming. And here we go. Fleming sets up. Fires. That pass is caught. Is that Travis Harvey? That's a great shoestring tackle over there. Yeah. Had Travis Harvey on the crossing route. But you're right, that was an excellent tackle by the defender. Let's see if we go for the long field goal. It looks like the offense is going to stay out there and go for it. It's fourth down, about four. Ball spotted at the 32-yard line. Balancier on the stop for Southern. The round is going to go for it. Fourth down and about five with 8.49 to play. Southern trying to hurry and get folks off the field. Yeah, a little I'm bit of confusion. Sure. Yeah, there's some, there's some confusion on the Southern defense, the Rattlers. Set it up, throw the slant. That pass nearly picked off. And again, a great defensive play over there. But it looks like Balancier again. Well, it looks like number 48 this time. Yeah, Mark Kawan Webster. Yeah. The Jaguars only down by seven points could easily make this a football game, although the Rattlers have been dominant on both offense and defense so far in this game. All right, Dre Joseph in the Southern offense. Set to go now. Ball is resting at the Southern 32-yard line. They're moving left to right. And here we go. They give it to Coleman. And Coleman is hit and slapped down at the point of attack. It's like Ellie Hippolyte along with Brandon Hepburn, the first two Rattlers to arrive. Nice discipline that time by the Rattler linebackers on the draw play. Second down and 10 for Southern. Dre Joseph backs into the gun with two backs and receivers to either side. Sets up, fires. Pass is caught out here by Lee Doss. Makes the catch at the 41-yard line, and that'll make it third down and one to go for Southern University. Yeah, the Rattlers sending their dime package in on a short yardage play. Let's see what the strategy here is as they send in Antoine Matthews. Boy, and they're going against a uh, heavy look here. Two tight end, two back set from yeah. the Jaguars. Yeah, Southern loads up the eye formation. Joseph under center, and he gives it to Coleman. And Coleman lunges forward. Looks like. I think it's still going to be short. Looks that like play he may is, be short. Yeah. Yes, right in front of us here on the 40-yard line. And it looks like that spot is going to be about a half yard yeah. short. It's going to be fourth down and a half yard to go. Yeah, the Rattlers brought players off the edge there, Keith. Terry Johnson may have been the first Rattler to get there from his corner spot. And, boy, the Jaguars, again, sending their punt unit on. But, boy, the Rattlers probably need to play defense right here. Beware of the fake. Yeah. Fourth down and really a less than a half yard to go for Southern. Yeah. Got to think they may have something where they snap it to an up back and try to get that half yard. Boy, boy a it's a snap. bad snap. And, the, boy, the Rattler runs in two. The punter, and so Southern's going to get a first down. This one's coming back. Chase Tootin did a great bit of acting as it was uh, Brandon Denmark who yeah. ran into the punter, and the flag comes out. That's going to give Southern a first down. Yeah, the low snap 
seemed to have encouraged Denmark to get in there and go for the block. He took a bad angle, though, and hits the punter. And that's going to be an automatic first down. You know, the thing is that it sort of skipped back to him. Running to the kicker, number seven, on the defense. Five-yard penalty, the result of the play, first down. I think he meant number eight. Yeah, he did. It was Brandon Denmark. But it gives Southern a first down at their own 46-yard line. So first and ten for the Jaguars after the infraction. Yeah, 6.54 to go here before halftime. 7-0, the Rattlers lead Southern this time. Loads twins to the far side, isolates the receiver over here. Doss to the near side for Dre Joseph. And Joseph wants to pass, sets up, throws the underneath drag route. It's caught and eludes the Rattler and goes down inside the Rattler territory and about the 43-yard line. That's going to be a first down for Southern. It's Michael Berry who had such a big game a week ago against Jackson State. Yeah, we just talked about the fact you don't want to let a team hang around. You know, sooner or later, they're going to get a few plays, and now the Jaguars with their best-looking drive of the afternoon inside the Rattler 45. Ball's resting at the 43 with 6.36 to play. First and 10. And this time, Barry works the slot to the far side. Twins over there. Twins to the near side with Doss working the slot. And Joseph going to be forced out of the pocket. Well, Billy Marcus the thrown. Joseph at the 35 and slides to the 32-yard line. And I think we're going to have holding against the Rattlers. Most definitely I mean, holding, against, Keith. Against, against Southern, holding the Rattler defense. Yeah, Bobby Jackson got off to a great uh, start on that play. Got deep into the backfield and had to be dragged down by the offensive tackle. And that's going to back the Jaguars up. Holding. 72 offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay. First down. And so it nullifies a big play for the Jaguars, Mike. Uh, but Southern now back in their own territory. First and 20 from their own 46-yard line. Yeah, now they're facing a six-defensive back look from the Rattlers. And this time, Dre Joseph rolls right, fires downfield. That pass for an up Rattler defender tried to jump up to bat the ball down. It falls incomplete and it's going to make it second down and 20 now for Southern. Brandon Hepburn getting good pressure on the quarterback from his linebacker spot. Antoine Matthews, Keith, a young man who started his football career over in uh, Jacksonville out of Quincy's East Gaston High School, been getting more and more playing time as the season has gone on. And is in there now at the left cornerback position. All right, second down and 20 for Southern. Balls resting at their own 46-yard line, 6.02 to play in the first half. Barry works the slot far side. Twins over there. Doss is isolated. Rattlers. Boy, Southern sets up the screen. It's a good-looking screen. Got some running room for uh, Coleman out of the backfield. And Coleman gets back to the original line of scrimmage and actually advances a couple of yards. It's going to bring up third down and about nine to go. Well, let's call it ten to go. Third and ten now for Southern. So the ten that they lost, they've gained back, brings up third down and ten for the Jaguars. And again, it's Matthews who comes up for that tackle. That play looked better when it started. We credit the Rattler defense to rallying to the football quickly. The twins to the far side. Isolation over here to the near side for Southern. Dre Joseph has pressure. Fires. That pass thrown behind the intended receiver. Boy, yeah. Ellie Hippolyte putting big pressure on Rattlers. Only went with a three-man rush that time. But Hippolyte able to force that throw early. It's going to bring up fourth down for Southern. And give the Rattler defense some credit, Mike. They shut down the Southern offense once again. Southern punting the football from again inside Rattler territory. Linworth Lennon back inside his own five-yard line to handle this punt. Now Chase Tootin on the punt at 5.08 to play in the first half. 
It's a good snap this time, but we've got whistles down on the field. And we've got penalty markers, and looks like it's going to be a legal procedure against the Jaguar Cats. Yeah, must, somebody must have moved over on the left side. Give the Rattler defense some credit, Keith, even after the false start. Offense, number 15, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. Yeah, even after giving up the first down on the rough and the kicker penalty, they were able to stop the Jaguars and actually force them to punt again. So that makes it fourth down and 15 now for Southern. And Lenworth was back at the five. He comes up to about the 10-yard line now to receive this punt. Tootin gets a good snap and hits off a nice end-over-end kick. Rattlers, uh, Linworth telling the Rattlers to get away from it. It takes a southern roll and rolls all the way down to the two-yard line. That's a great punt by Chase Tootin. And there's timeout here in Atlanta with our score. Fam, you 70 up on Clemson last year in the Orange Bowl. So they are certainly capable. It's their first Big 12 game. They were worried about what they could do in the Big 12. They see right now they've got a great offense to match them over there scoring-wise. Uh, not a lot of defense, though, played in that game. All right, big presentation going on down on the field, which is uh, holding up play right now. $50,000 in scholarship money being presented. And that's always a good thing. 4.18 to go here. Yeah, 4.18 to go here before halftime. Lots planned for the big halftime show. The human jukebox of Southern University already uh, massing in the north end zone, on, uh, the boundary to the north end zone. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming sets up, has pressure, hit, and sack. That's a great defensive play. And again, it looks like it's Balancier. He's having a big night against the Rattlers. Yeah, they brought pressure, Keith. They rushed seven. And they get to Damian Fleming. Man-to-man -man coverage in the secondary held up well. And after a good start to the drive, suddenly a big sack sets us back. Yeah, we lose about six yards on that play. It'll make it second down and 16 now for a Rattler. First down, ball's resting back at our own 14-yard line. Linworth Lennon goes in motion. That'll give us triplets to the boundary. Play action, and Damian's going to try to set up the screen, but the Jaguars are all over that. And that's big number, 95, Casey Narcisse. Narcisse is having a big ball game. Yeah, 5'10", 295, the red shirt senior out of St. James, Louisiana. And I think the Jaguars are going to call time. They're trying to keep some of this clock here for their next offense possession with 322 remaining in the half. Well, you know, what's interesting, Mike, is that there's a day party going on inside the dome out on the club level. So if you're not in the games, you know, some people are out actually enjoying the day party. Here's Fleming's pass. Oh, intended for Travis Harvey, who made a tremendous effort to try and make that catch. But it falls incomplete, and it's going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers. And Brandon Holdren is going to have to punt from in the end zone. And, boy, this is a precarious place for the Rattlers to try to kick this football. Southern's going to get good field position out of this exchange. And, again, another reason why the Rattlers need to put points on the board. They don't want to keep Southern hanging around. Here we go. This is Virgil Williams. He feels this at midfield, dancing around. Trying to find some place to go, and now it's going to be tackled behind in Southern Territory back at about the 48-yard line with penalty markers going down on the play. Yeah, and I think they're going to lose some of that good field position. They would have been starting this drive around midfield, but a block in the back is going to push the Jaguars back even further here. Here's the official. Holmes, Mike, I understood we... We made it into we made, the sermon. Made the sermon. <laughs> Last week, too. Keep shouting us out, Rep. Here we go. Dre Joseph back to pass. Oh, Sets up the screen. Boy, he's got lots of blocking and room in front of him. And, boy, that was that a face mask? And Keith, it should have been holding. Uh, Brandon Davis was basically tackled by the, uh, by the offensive tackle. The referee reached for his flag, but he didn't pull it out. But it was a egregious holding on that play. Sylvester Enzikwe 
was the receiver, and he gives Southern a first down and 10 at the ramp to 41. And so Dre Joseph now isolates a receiver near side, twins to the front. Boy, Dre Joseph was hit immediately as he released that football ball. Michael Berry's pulling away from Rattlers, and he's going to have a first now down inside the Rattler 30 at about the 27-yard line. That's a good bit of running, Mike, after the catch. Yeah, Dre Joseph got to give him credit, Keith. He knew he was going to get hit by the Rattler blitzer, but he stood tall in the pocket and delivered a strike. Yeah, Michael Berry, 6'3", 215, a big receiver. Senior out of McGee, Mississippi. And Southern now with a drive going here with 222 to play. And this time Joseph again with the screen pass. And Enzique stumbles turf monster. over the old turf monster. And, boy, a break for the Rattlers because he would have been off to the races. Turf and monster got him at about the 25-yard line. He's going to fall forward to the 24. 2.02 remaining here before halftime is a Southern sort of in a semi-hurry-up offense. Yeah, Brandon Hepburn will get credit for the tackle. But it was the old turf monster. And here, Dre Joseph now with Doss working the slot. Fires for Doss. And he makes the catch and goes out of bounds at about the 18-yard line of the Rattlers. And so that's going to be real close if he didn't pick up the Southern first down. Yeah, going to be short of the first down. It's going to be third down and about one. But he gets out of bounds, saving some ticks off the clock. 141 now remaining in the half. And so Southern now threatening with a minute 41. And Mike's just like we were saying, Rattlers have dominated the first half. But here comes Southern, only one point, one score down. And they're threatening with a minute 41 to play here in the first half. Dre Joseph and the Jaguars, third and one. Joseph tries to run it himself, but the Rattlers, Brandon Hepburn, says no way. And he was in the grasp of Dr. Hepburn. He's going to lose yards on the play, make it fourth down and about four to go for Jaguar first down. And now Southern's going to send on, is this the field goal unit? Yes. yes. Yeah, they're going to try to get some points on the board here. 118 in the clock running. And the Rattlers, Keith, don't seem to have enough guys on the field. Yeah, this is... Um, now we see one coming off the sideline. Hill Matthew. Boy, and here's a fake, and This is going to be a fake. Southern now going to try to pick this first down up as uh, this is Lee Doss, uh, the wide receiver. And, boy... He's trying to find somebody to throw the ball to. Leaves one downfield. It's going to be picked, picked off by the Rattlers at the six-yard line. Is that Devin Roberts? It was Devin Roberts. A bit of chicanery <laughs> from the Southern Jaguars, but it does not fool the Rattlers. Give the Rattlers some credit, Keith. They were paying attention, and Devin Roberts comes up with a big interception. We had been messing with Devin about knocking those, about uh, him missing so many interceptions. This time he comes down with one. With 44 seconds remaining in the half, that's a big play for the Rattlers defensively. Rattlers going to take over at their own six with 44 seconds to go, but more than likely, Keith, they're just going to take a knee right here. The Jaguars, I think, have burned at least two of their timeouts. And there's, yeah, now the clock goes to 24. All right, here we go. They hand it off to Eddie Rocker, and Eddie scoots it out beyond the 10, out to about the 12-yard line. And do the Rattlers call time? Looks like. Damian Fleming going to load up the I formation. And he gives it to the high back. That's Eddie Rocker. And the Rocket Man is going to scoot his way out to about the 21-yard line. He's going to pick up the first down. And with 27 seconds left now, they'll move the sticks before starting the clock. Yeah, really surprised that they didn't go ahead and take, take one long shot at uh, going downfield. But now with the clock down to 20 seconds, looks like Damian is in no hurry here. Which sort of... Ask the question of why we're not taking a knee. Damien again loads up the eye. 
with receivers to either side. He's got uh, Travis Harvey to the near side. And yeah, that's going to do it for the half. Yeah, that is going to be the end of the first half of play with our score here in Atlanta. FAMU 7, Southern nothing. We'll be back with our Rattler Boosters halftime show after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. <laughs>
Rattler Booster Program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. All right, here we go. Chase Farnador has it all teed up. And again, it's Virgil Williams deep to receive for Southern. And here's the kick. High end over end kick. And it's going to be fielded by Jaleel Richardson. And Richardson turns the corner, pulls away from a Rattler. But boy, he is rocks on the far side of the field. And looks like a penalty marker goes down late after the play is over. And again, it's Antoine Matthews and the freshman, Akil Blunt in on the tackle. Yep, speaking of Akil Blunt, uh, his mom and dad are here down from Pittsburgh, uh, Mel. And Mel owns horses, Mike, and uh, had an accident with one of his horses after we saw them up in Nashville, Tennessee. Had to have some knee surgery. So his knee is in a brace. But he is here to see his son play against Southern. You know, Mel is a Southern grad himself. So it's a, a special night tonight. Mel's wearing orange and green, though, for his son, Akil. All right, here we go. Dre Joseph under center. Play action. Throws out here. That pass intended for the bull fullback. Brian McCain. It falls incomplete. Second down and 10 for Southern. Ball's resting at their own 32. Yeah, tried to start off this half with a little play action. Again, Brandon Hepburn forcing the early throw and incompletion. Bringing up second down and 10. Jaguars really, Keith, have not been able to establish either a running or a passing game. They, they, they've hit a couple of passes. Uh, but not able to sustain anything so far. All right, here we go. Jaguars this time. Isolated receiver to the far boundary. And split twins over here to the near side for Dre Joseph. And Joseph fires downfield. That pass is picked off by Marvin Ross at the 45-yard line of Southern. And Marvin still trying to run. But his forward progress is going to be marked at the 46. And that's the first big break of the second half of the Rattlers. Marvin Ross, Mike, has got to be our leading uh, pass interceptor, I think, on the season. And he picks off another one. Keith, and he got a tremendous jump on that. He saw that curl coming all the way, got in front of the receiver. That's just a tremendous play by Marvin Ross, who's been playing outstanding all year. Remember, it was Marvin who was assigned to face Justin Wilson all week last week, the guy who was uh, yep. touted as the player of the year in the conference, and he shut him down also. Yeah, he's working on Michael Berry, who had the great game a week ago against Jackson State and just picked that one off in front of Michael Berry. So here come the Rattlers. We'll set the Rattler offensive lineup as we begin the second half after this play. Damian Fleming, though, with one back. That's Eddie Rocker, and the Rocket Man gets the call sprints away from one Southern Jaguar but gets back to the line of scrimmage and it'll be second down and 10 to go for the Rattlers. Rattlers come back with Travis Harvey at the flank or Robert Hartley the left tackle. Drew Savory the left guard Doug Almendares the center Kevin House is the right guard. Zary Patterson the right tackle. Michael Etheridge the tight end. Eddie Rocker in the backfield uh, at running back. Damian Fleming is going all the way at quarterback. Lonnie Lockett the fullback and the other wide out is Linworth Lennon. So this time the Rattlers Loaded up with triplets over here to the near boundary. Isolate Travis Harvey to the far side. Southern's bringing a blitz on Fleming. And this pass is caught by Adamson Felix at the Southern 40-yard line. And it's going to bring up third down and about four to go for Rantler first down. That's a gain of six, third and four. Yeah, good protection by the offensive line. Nice clean pocket. And a throw to Adamson Felix. Need to convert this third down play, though. So we can get down in the scoring area. Travis Harvey isolated over here to the near side. Rattlers send triplets to the far boundary. Adamson, Felix, Dwayne Harvey, and Linworth Lennon. Jaguars bringing blitz again. Fleming fires the drag route across the middle. That pass was intended for Adamson, Felix. But once again, it's Balancier on the stop. Or who broke up the pass for Southern. Brings up a fourth down for the Rattlers. On the plus side of the 50, Mike. Yeah, and that's a win for the Southern defense right there, Keith, in a quick change uh, situation. They hold the Rattlers without a first down and force a punt. Brandon Holdren now trying to pin the Jaguars again deep in their own territory. Fourth down and four for the Rattlers. 13-18 to play here in the third. Rattlers leading 7-0, and Brandon will try to aim for that coffin corner if he can, and he does. It's an end-over-end end kick. Boy, this one's heading to the end zone fast. And the Rattlers try to get down there and knock it out. But it rolls into the end zone. And so Southern will begin first down at 10 
from their own 25-yard line. All right, here we go. The Jaguars sent to go. This is their second possession of the second half. Andre Joseph now loads the I formation and has receivers to either side now under center. And here we go. Joseph fakes the draw, fires across the middle. That pass is caught by the big tight end. And that is Brantley Coleman. No, actually, Rashawn Butler. Rashawn Butler is going to get pick up about seven yards, make it second down and three to go for Southern. Ball's resting now at their own 27-yard line. And that's Devin Roberts with uh, his team leading, increases his team leading number of tackles right there. All right, here we go. This time, Trey Joseph in the backfield from the gun. And Joseph steps in the pocket, fires, delivers. That pass caught by Lee Doss. And Doss is going to be taken down out at about the 38-yard line. And that's a Southern first down. The Jaguar Cats will move the chains. Southern University going with a quicker passing game. That going with the three-step drop, the quick slant. Try to keep Joseph away from the big rush. Michael Ducree on the stop for the Rattlers. First and 10 Jaguars now at their own 37. And this time Joseph's pass tossed over there and caught by Jordan Bilbo. And Bilbo steps out of bounds at the 40. That's going to be a gain of three. Second down and seven now for Southern. And Southern picking up the tempo here. Again, the three-step drop and the quick out. Rattler defensive back, so uh, got to be careful of being low to sleep in the uh, a double move and a deep throw by John Joseph. And flanks twins to the far side. Rattler's bringing the blitz. And Dre Joseph steps up in the pocket, eludes a couple of Rattlers, still on his feet and taken down at the 49-yard line. That's a pretty solid tackle over there. Is that Brandon Denmark? Yeah, but Joseph's going to pick up another first down ball. Uh -huh. Spider right around midfield. Uh, actually, it's Devin Roberts. Devin Roberts again. Devin having a big game. Yeah, he's having a big night against Southern, but not before the Jaguars pick up the first down at the round of 49. 11-21. Joseph this time runs the draw play. And is this Enzique? Sylvester's Enzique, the ball carrier. And he's going to pick up a force. Going to make it second and six now for Southern. Ball's resting at the Rattler, 46. Denmark checks out. Mike Decree checks in. Lee Doss isolated to the far boundary this time. And Southern shifts the receiver. Here goes into the offset eye and gives it to Enzique again. And Enzique spins across the 45 down to about the 43. Yeah, he's going to have to get just inside the 40-yard line for a first down. It's going to be a long three. With 10-20 remaining here in the third quarter, Rattlers with a thin 7-0 lead. Doss this time wide to the far boundary. It's Michael Berry to the near side. And two backs in the backfield for Dre Joseph. Swings this one out for his fullback. who makes the catch and is bumped out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. But that's a good-looking throw and catch from Dre Joseph to Brian McCain. And that moves the chains, keeps this drive alive. And Southern now on the move at the Rattler 31-yard line. Yeah, Southern coming up with some halftime adjustments. Keith, we still see them going with a quick three-step drop passing game, and they're trying to cut uh, the Rattler defensive lineman now. I don't think, I think I mean, there was I a clock problem. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they reset the play clock. Now they have. Uh, actually going to have to tell the guys upstairs how much time was left probably. Got to reset the game clock. I think he said to 9.29. Yeah. 9.40. Thank you. 949. All right, here we go. Yes, Dre right. Joseph now under center with a spread formation. Twin receivers 
Either side's going to throw the bubble screen out here for Barry. He shakes off one rattler, but can't get away from Marvin Ross. Uh, well, actually, he kept playing. Kept fighting. And then yeah. finally stepped out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Yeah, he was. He went from a loss. Actually, he's going to pick, pick up, up a, a yard. couple of yards. Yeah. So to make it third down now and seven for Southern. Yeah, empty backfield that time. And again, the empty backfield from Dre Joseph, who actually has an extra lineman in the game. Yeah, on balance. Well, yep. Yep. Two tackles. Joseph's going to try and keep and run, but the Rattlers are all over that. It's Mike Ducree. Yep. And uh, he's going to lose yards on the play. Yeah, there's a penalty marker down. Came out at the onset. Let's see if it's another illegal formation. Well, they're saying offsides against Boy, FAMU. Rattler lining up in the neutral zone. That's a big mistake because that play went nowhere. And now the Offsides. Defense. Number 46. Five-yard penalty. Replay. Second down. Yep. Wow. That's, that makes it. That goes from a second and seven to a second now and two. Yeah, Bobby Jackson lines up in the neutral zone. Southern now with the football at the Rattler 23-yard line. And Joseph looking to pass, tries to set up the screen, got a block out front, down inside the 15, down inside the 10, goes in Zeke way, and he's down to the seven-yard line. That's a Southern first down. And here we go. The Jaguars, Mike, marching right back into it as they're having to sit on a slim 7-0 lead. Yeah, that screen game has been good for them all day. Give Brandon Denmark some credit, Keith, for fighting off uh, the block and being able to come and make that play because the Rattlers were in trouble as there were several blockers out in front. All right, here we go. Southern first and goal to goal at the Rattlers 7. And the Jaguars send Jordan Bilbo wide to the far boundary. Michael Berry to the near side. Now Lee Doss comes in motion. Joseph throws the out for Doss. And Doss is demolished at the five-yard line by Terry Johnson. Terry saw it coming and just came up and popped him. That's a big hit by Terry Johnson to hold that to a one-yard gain. Oh, vicious hit by Terry Devontae, the Terry Johnson. Second down and goal. Jaguars at the four. Andre Joseph, twins near side. And boy, all kind of movement along the interior line. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, I think that's, let's see. Looking for numbers against the Jaguars. Full start. Offense. Number 60. Five-yard penalty. Remains second down. That'll back the Jaguars up. Yeah, the big center sort of double clutched the snap. But it gives the passing game a little bit more room to operate down here. Spread set again by the Jaguars. All right, here we go. Drake Joseph from the gun. Rattlers threatening blitz. Well, this time the right guard rolls up. And it's going to be another penalty against the Jaguars. Prior to the snap, number 73, offense. Five-yard penalty remains second down. And Jaguars now shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, they're going the wrong way. Actually, they're going the right way going for right us. Way, yeah. Thomas Jackson, the wide receiver, checks in. The big tight end comes out, Rashawn Allen. Second down, and Jonesboro, not quite. <laughs> Ball's at the 14, though, it's second and goal. Dre Joseph looking to pass, dumps across the middle, got a man, and he's in, touchdown. That's in Zeke Sylvester in Zeke out of the backfield, Mike, on a slant. Boy. In for the score, and now we've got a ball game. Yeah, and a couple of penalty markers, Keith, are going to come in late here after the touchdown was scored. It's it's going to be a seven, 
six ball game right now with 7.07 remaining in the third quarter. But let's see what that penalty is. Looks like we've got a uh, offsetting personal fouls after the play. But the Jaguars get a drive and strike and pull to within one. And Hill Matthew will be on to attempt a point after. You know, for the fans that forgot, this was a close ball game last year. With some late heroics from Damian Fleming pulling the ball game out. Right now, the officials still in a conference. And let's see what the penalty is. Still have not heard from the referee as to what the penalty is. Here we go. Dead ball. That's close, my life. Number 72 on the offense. That penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. The touchdown is good. It was unsportsmanlike against Southern and will be assessed on the kickoff. Uh, and that's that's a big penalty, Keith. That's going to be 15 yards. The Rattlers should come out of that with tremendous field position after this is all over. Yeah. Okay, Hill Matthew on to attempt a point after. Rattlers up by one right now. Let's see what happens on the PAT. Here's the snap. And placement. Kick is airborne. And good. And so... At 7.07 to play here in the third quarter, we're all tied up in Atlanta. FAMU 7, Southern 7, and we'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. It's football season, Rattler. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. All right, here we go. And Pittman, the short kick is going to be fielded at the 18. James Owens at the 40, 45 midfield, and James Owens is going to go down at the 49-yard line of Southern. So a great return for the Rattlers. Yeah, you see uh, what that big 15-yard penalty did. Right going to start this drive with the nose of the football at midfield. Right at midfield is where they mark it. And so, great return by James Owens and the Rattlers now. Set to go. 6.58 to play in the third. We're tied at seven here in Atlanta. Actually, Keith, they're going to put the ball at the 45. Wow. That's a great spot. I think what the, I, we couldn't hear the official. I think they were offside, and they, we got a five-yard mark off. Okay. So, so we started at the southern 45. Even better field position for the Rattlers. Moving left to right, Damian Fleming isolates uh, Travis Harvey to the far side. Southern's bringing the blitz, and we're running a reverse. We ran it right into the blitz. And, boy, this is going to be a great defensive play. we got to give number seven. That's Virgil Williams, the 5'9", 167-pound junior out of Shreveport, Louisiana. He was never fooled, Mike. He came on the blitz, saw it coming, and we're going to lose big on this play. Yeah, and that good field position just went down the drain with a big 18-yard loss. Big 18-yard loss. And now it's... Second down and Eagles landing. Yeah. 
where there's always a traffic there's jam. There's always a traffic jam for some reason. All right, Rattler's going to spread the formation now, send Lenworth Lennon to the far boundary where there will be triplets now. Isolate over here to Travis Harvey. And Damian going to fire this pass for Lenworth Lennon at the 45 of Southern, still on his feet. Lenworth at the 40, Lenworth to the 38, th Lenworth to the 37, to the 36. And he is real close, Mike, to a Rattler first down. We needed to get to the 35. He got to the 36-yard line of Southern. Yeah, and give Lenworth some credit, Keith. He came wide open after the movement in the pocket by Damian Fleming. But his run after catch gets the Rattlers to within a yard of the first down. Yeah, it was second down and about 32. He got 31 yards on that play. Rattlers now at the Southern 36-yard line, third and one. Dwayne Harvey wide to the far boundary. Rattlers load up the eye. Now Harvey comes in motion. This is a power play. We give it to James Owens. And he is rocked in the backfield. That's a big defensive play by the linebacker. It's like number 51, Mike, for Southern. Yeah, and I was expecting number Dwayne Harvey, Keith, to block the man on the edge. He blocked down, yeah. allowing the linebacker to come through and make that play in the backfield. The Rattlers actually lose two yards. Yeah, Fran shot west, came blasting through, and James Owens really just had no place to run. That's a great defensive play by Southern. Boy, and waste the effort there uh, by the Rattlers on the previous play. All right, here we go. Brandon Holdren, again, aiming for that coffin corner. Southern calls for the fair catch, and we're going to run it down. And I think we down it at the one-yard line. I'm, that's, this is a great special teams play. Did oh. he go in the end zone? Oh, Keith, that, if he's going to spot it right there, I don't know. I think he's going to spot it at the one. Whoa. Dre Joseph is going to be in the end zone. He's under center. He has an eye formation. And, boy, there's penalty markers on the play. Yeah, they can't get much closer to the goal line. False start. 27 offense. Half the distance to the goal. Remains first down. Wow. Southern. And they just had to scooch it back a little bit. Scooch it. <laughs> scooch it. Scooch. That's just like a little slide. That's called a scooch. Two tight end formation, power running formation from the Jaguars. Yep, that's all you really can do at that point of the end zone. And look, and hope, and hope you get enough push to get your back or your quarterback to get a yard or two. This is, this is great. That was a great special teams play. Yeah. See if we can hold them down here now. All right, Dre Joseph gives to the eye back who try to, tries to hurdle. That's uh, Coleman, Darius Coleman. He's going to take it out to about the three-yard line. It gives him some, some breathing relief, but not much. Yeah, because the problem down here, if you throw the football and you get a holding penalty in the end zone, that's a safety. Yeah. So you got to be careful. All right, here we go. Looks like it was Brandon Hepburn on the stop last play. They, oh, boy, Coleman hit, pulls away from a couple of Rattlers and fights his way out to the six-yard line. But he was hit behind the line of scrimmage, Mike, but pulled away from a couple of Rattlers. Yeah, that was the nose guard, Patrick Scott. Or right, Ellie. It may have been Ellie. Ellie. He pulled away from Ellie and ended up... Making it to the six-yard line. Third down and about five to go now for Southern. Ball is resting at their own six-yard line. Yeah. Jaguars went to a more spread formation here. Rattlers got the dime in. Let's see if they try to throw the ball deep down here. All right, Joseph throws the slant. It's, it's caught by Lee Doss. Boy, Jonathan Pillowkeith made a tremendous tackle, and he's going to hold that receiver just short of the of first, first down. down. And the Rattlers should get excellent field position out of this exchange. Boy, that, that, that harkens me back to Johnny Williams. Don't let him fall forward. And he did not let the receiver fall forward, and it brings on a punting situation. Yeah, the late, great, legendary Johnny Williams, former 
head football coach, athletic director, and basketball coach, and everything. Track Got coach, it. Track whatever coach, else, it, whatever other sports we yeah, have. Yeah, DRS. But one thing for sure, he taught us some football. Yep, they actually uh, got a, a timeout here. They're going to bring the chains across to make sure that this is not a first down. But uh, from here, it looks like he's short. Well, he got a great spot because he did not get to the 10-yard line. Yeah, still short. Inches short. And so it will be fourth down for Southern. Rattlers should get great field position out of this exchange. And, Mike, the beauty of that, it goes all the way back to that last defensive series and the punt, oh, uh, the last offensive series for the Rams, and the punt by Brandon Holdren. Yeah, and the coverage. Yeah, and the, the coverage, coverage team. The special teams play. The Jaguars still huddling on the sideline. And they don't put a trick play past them on this situation. Yeah, but you're so deep into yeah. your own territory. Yeah, it would be a tough tough it, if you don't get it yeah it'd be suicidal i mean you 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 basically give us a score see if they don't try to draw us offside in some kind of way yeah rattlers have to be patient here fourth down and in inches tootin is on the punt gets a good snap and a tight spiral it's caught by Linworth Lennon, and he's bumped out of bounds at the 36-yard line, and so the Rattlers are going to have excellent field position. And wait, now we've got... Yeah, Linworth is going to get some kind of penalty for something he did after the play. So we're going to lose some of that field position, it seems like. So right in front of the Southern bench, and all, they were all applauding that flag. Linworth did a tremendous job that time, though, of fielding that punt, yeah, getting it on, upfield. On the fly and advancing it forward, only to lose probably 15 yards. After the play, dead ball, personal foul on the receiving team. 15-yard penalty, first down. That hurts. Yeah, we lose 15 yards, the ball back now to our own 49-yard line instead of the 36 of the Jaguars, but still great field position. The defense did exactly what they had to do, Keith. They made them uh, go three and out and punt the football, and we got it back near midfield. Yeah, Rattler's got to learn to exercise some discipline. We actually saw it last week. Patrick Scott really took a cheap shot, and, uh, boy, he wanted to retaliate, but he held himself back, and the referees were right there. To, if he, had he done it, we would have gotten flagged for 15 yards. And Linworth's got to understand. Oh, boy, Travis Harvey's wide. Well, he makes the catch at the 10. Five. Touchdown, fam. You, Travis Harvey goes in standing up. What, the one time they don't double-team Travis Harvey? They go to him immediately for a touchdown. And, that boy, that's big. 51 yards, throw and catch, Damian Fleming to Travis Harvey. And that's been the combination, Keith, that's been key for us all game. They've been double-covering him. They went single that time, feeling pretty good about themselves on defense, and Travis Harvey burns. 2-10 remaining in the third quarter, and the Rattlers have retaken the lead 13-7. And like as we watched the replay, it looks like the Southern defender didn't even know that Travis had made the catch and gone in for the score. But that's just a beautiful throw and catch, and Travis sails into the end zone. The Rattlers retake the lead. It looks like we've got some infraction on the play, and they're discussing it. And again, it looks like, again, it's going to be some kind of penalty. on the. They're going to take it on the kickoff, too. I think we're going to get celebration. They actually did the fake chest bump, and I think that's got them flagged. So Southern going to do exactly the same thing we did, uh, force the 20-yard kickoff. Head ball, personal foul, number two. On the offense, that penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Yeah, so that's for celebration. Travis made the touchdown, and he was flanked for the celebration. And so Chase Varnador comes on to attempt the point after. Brandon Holdren will hold. And here we go, snap placement. Kick is airborne. And good. And so, with 2-10 to play in the third, the Rattlers retake the lead. It's 14-7. And we'll be back 
after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. The Flavor Station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Over the Southern Jaguars. 2 10 to play in the third. And that chase is all set to kick it off. It'll be Virgil Williams deep to receive. And Jaleel Richardson. This is Richardson at the 20, 25, 30. 35, and oh, he's not going to make the 35. Down at the 34-yard line, and again, good kick coverage by the Rattler special teams. Yeah, Nolan North, a linebacker out of Florida High School here in Tallahassee. Yeah, uh, that's my cousin there, Mike. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, Ricky Simmons' nephew. Okay. That's Gwen Norton's son. Okay. Oh, okay. Digging Willie Simmons' uh, grandson. Well, he made an excellent play. Excellent play. Yeah, they, they've got high hopes for this kid at the linebacker spot, too. Yeah. And no, he told me, uh, he, Nolan told me at the career fair where he's studying marketing. He's trying to get a lot of some internships. And he told me, he said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm content right now to play on special teams, but I want to get in, in the game. Yeah, he's learning. The, he didn't play linebacker in high school, learning the position. All right, here we go. First down and 10 for Dre Joseph and Southern. Joseph fires underneath on a drag route. And, boy, the uh, Lee Doss is trying to elude a couple of rattlers, but one thing tonight about the Rattlers, Mike, wherever that ball has been, the Rattlers have converged on it and tackled much better than we saw a week ago. That was for Brandon Davis on the stop for yeah. FAMU. Yeah, I need to check with Sean as, again, Bobby Jackson limps off the field. Seemed to be favoring a leg. I don't know. I think Sean may have gotten. So he got caught up in the yeah, halftime of the game. Celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> we hadn't heard from Sean. Here we go. Dre Joseph sets up the pass, pulls it down, now fires across the middle. That pass is complete to Lee Doss, and he's going to be taken down at about the 48-yard line of the Rattlers, but it's a first down for the Southern Jaguars. Yeah, the Rattlers not able to get any pressure that time on Joseph. Too much time to look over the defense. William Smalls on that tackle. Well, Sean might chime in with uh, Dougie Fresh. Who knows? <laughs> All right, here we go. Lee Doss and uh, Bilbo wide to the far boundary. And it's Michael Berry over here to the near side for Joseph. Joseph looking to set the screen pass up. Pillow runs it down. And, boy, that's a great defensive play by Jonathan Pillow. The pass was complete to Darius Coleman. And Coleman's going to get about four yards on the play. But Pillow ran the. He overran the play first. And, and then, then came back and made the play and, and made the stop. And then chased it down. Rattlers shuttling in defensive players, trying to, trying to keep guys fresh. That screen pass has hurt us all day. One of the best plays for the Jaguars on the afternoon. All right, here we go. Jaguars send uh, Bilbo in motion to the near boundary. And Joseph fires over the middle. That pass is going to be incomplete. Terry Johnson was, was going to say it was offensive pass interference. As Michael Berry pushed off. But fortunately, Berry couldn't hold on to the pass. Yep, it's going to fall incomplete. Bring up a third. Uh, is there a flag now? Didn't see one, but oh, that's right a quarter. At the end of the quarter. And so... At the end of the third quarter with our score, FAMU 14, Southern 7. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsor on the Rattler Sports Network. The Flavor Station always represent that real hip-hop and R&B. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Forty-six yard line. 
And now the official is coming down. Is do is, is replay in play for this game? It's a TV game, so I know in conference games that are televised, replay is in play, but it doesn't look like it here as we're ready to resume play. Yeah, this is a non-conference game. All right, here we go. Southern with a third down and six now from the Rattler. 46. Doss goes in motion. Devin Roberts goes with him. Here comes the blitz, and Joseph's pass is caught, and it's Doss. Doss all the way down to the Rattler 25-yard line, and that's going to be a Southern first down. Yeah, the Rattlers are blitzing, Keith, but it is, nobody is getting home, and there are open receivers down field. Better protection than staff for the Southern Jaguars, and they are finding their receivers. Yeah, he's actually going to spot the football at the Rattler 24. So the Jaguars just outside the red zone and moving left to right. Jaguars threatening. And the Rattler 24. Here we go. Trey Joseph sets up, throws the slant. It's caught. It's Doss again. And Doss inside the 15, down to about the 12 or 13 yard line. And Lee Doss has come to life. 6'1, 175 pound redshirt junior out of New Orleans. And the Jaguars now threatening at the Rattler 12 yard line. Yeah, Jay Joseph, 21 of 29 for 180 yards. And he also has 31 more yards rushing. Joseph's going to empty the backfield this time. He's got a tight end, and then he's got twin receivers. Nobody for the Rattlers. Got trying to set up the screen pass. There's a penalty marker on the play. The pass is complete Boy, to let's, the tight end, Rashawn Allen. But let's see. Yeah, let's hope we weren't lined up in the neutral zone again. Boy, and it is. It's going to be offside, fam, you again. Somebody lined up in the neutral zone, and that great defensive play is going to go by the board. Offsides. Defense. Number 16. Five-yard penalty. You play. First down. Boy, they get the cornerback, Antoine Matthews, who's lined up outside on the receiver for offside. Yeah. And, and that's an easy penalty to check, Keith, because you always check with the official to make sure you're lined up right, the same as the receiver does when you're playing bump and run coverage. Now he's checking with him this time. All right, first and five for Southern. The ball's resting now at the Rattler seven. Joseph throws the, the goal route. He makes the catch. That's a touchdown. And it's uh, Lee Doss. Fittingly so. Lee Doss runs the wheel route. Keith. The wheel route. He was a slot receiver. He went out and then down the sideline. A good throw from Joseph. Brings the Jaguars back to within one. And now we're starting to see that offense that we were looking for. 14-13 with 13-38 remaining in the ball game. And the, Wild, and the Jaguars answer the Rattler score. All right. Uh, this will be... Matthew on for the extra point. Players on the field. Half the distance to the goal. He played a try. Um, I think the Rattlers had too many men on the field. Yeah, too many men on the field. They're going to move it half the distance. A yard and a half. All right, here we go. Hill Matthew. Doss will hold. Here's the snap. The kick is airborne. And it's good. And so with 13.38 to play, once again, we're all tied up in Atlanta at 14 apiece. And we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors of the Rattler Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida A&M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center. And golf carts for our season Rattler Booster supporters. Pitching machine for the baseball team. The shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850 
224-6093. It's not too late. All right, here comes the kick from Pittman. And low end over end kick, fielded at the five. Owens 15-20. And Owens fights his way to the 25, maybe the 26. We'll see where they spot the football. But that's where the Rattlers will begin. First and 10 from there with 13-32 to play here in the ball game. Yeah, still lots of football to be played. But the Rattlers now want to answer the answer from Southern. Yeah. Well, to show you how even this is, Keith, at the end of the third quarter, the Rattlers have run 40 plays. They've gained 209 yards. The Jaguars have run 46 plays. They've gained 208 yards. Wow. All right, here we go. The Rattlers going to open up the spread formation with twin receivers to either side. Rattlers moving right to left. Damian Fleming, here comes the blitz. Damian steps up in the pocket, and he's going to be hit and taken down on a tackle for loss. By big number 94, Kadeem Lewis, 6'3", 271, a redshirt junior out of Metairie, Louisiana. That's just outside of New Orleans. That's yep. where the airport is. And it's also where the original Domino's restaurant is. And it's not a part of the chain. It's actually a privately owned restaurant. And Domino's had to buy the name. Wow. All right. Found that out on one of my trips up to, to New, New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming going to send Linworth Lennon now in motion, which will give us triplets to the boundary. And we run the screen pass out here. And, boy, he takes a huge shot. Is that Owens? No, it's Eddie Rocker. He's going to gain the two yards that we lost back. It's going to be third down and ten. And, boy, the Rattlers wow. certainly want to keep this going, keep this drive going here, not give the ball back to a hot Dre Joseph. Who's yeah, it was number 22, Levi Jackson, who stepped up and made the hit on Eddie. Eddie still gains uh, three yards, actually. And it's going to bring up third down and nine. Fleming, play action. Now dumps it off for Tr Travis. And Travis, not going to go. Not going to get the, he got to the 30. But that's not going to be near enough. Rattlers needed to get to the 35. It's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, Jaguars right now keep going with a 3-3-5 three, three, look. But they're blitzing one of their linebackers every time to give themselves a four-man rush. But it's a totally different look from the one that we got from them in the first half. Yeah, and it's Balenciere again on the stop for Southern. He has had a huge night for the Southern Jaguars. Brandon Holdren on the punt. End over end kick. Virgil Williams, 35-40, 45, midfield. And out of bounds at the Rattler 45. That's a great return for Southern. Number 39, Tyler Riley, the long snapper, a 5'11", 215-pound freshman out of Ocala. Bumped him out of bounds just short of the 45. Rattler defense has got to stand up right here. Jaguars taking over in point-blank range. Yeah, Dre Joseph's numbers have got to be somewhere in the same vicinity yeah, of he, Damian. Yeah, he was 21 of 29 at the end of the third, but I think he went four for four on that drive in the fourth quarter. All right, here come the Jaguars. Tight end, near side, triplets to the far boundary. Play action, Joseph going to run for his life. Oh, that's, that's intentional that's grounding. That's intentional grounding. There's nobody over here. I guess they're saying that he was outside the pocket and got it across the line of scrimmage. That's all he needed to do because there was not a receiver on that side of the field. Yeah, no one close. Smart play by the quarterback. Brings up second down and 10. Saved his team a big sack there. All right, here we go. Southern, second and 10. Isolation to the near boundary. Twins to the far side for Joseph. And Joseph pulls it down. He's going to run at the 40. And out of bounds, maybe the 39. We'll see where they spot him. They're going to spot him at the 40. 
And that's going to bring up third down and five for yep. Southern. Third down and five. The Rattlers have been bringing pressure on these third down plays, but it's been picked up effectively by the Jaguar protection, and it's left receivers wide open downfield. Let's see what the Rattler defense goes with this time, whether they go again with the blitz or whether they drop back into coverage. Michael Barry goes wide to the far boundary with a slot receiver over there, and they isolate Bilbo to the near side. Here comes the blitz. That pass. Oh, boy, it's tipped. Oh, and it's incomplete. It's incomplete. Boy, that was a heck of a play, though. It was tipped by one Southern receiver almost to another Southern receiver, but it falls incomplete. And it makes it fourth down and five for Southern. Terry Johnson was able to get in at the last second and knock that football away as you right, Keith. Number three, Charles ha Hawkins had the deflection, but Terry Johnson knocks it away and brings up a fourth down. And the Jaguars now playing field position are going to punt it away. Yeah, this looks like Hill Matthew on the punt. The Rattlers are going to send uh, Terry Johnson. Deep to receive this punt. Oh boy, a beautiful high spot. Boy, you just gotta let that one he go. Just bang that one. Yeah, that one hit in the end zone. Oh, and he's gonna spot it at the one yard line. That ball, the ball hit in the end zone. And let's see if the field judge comes in and makes a call. But it looks like they're gonna say it was down. Let's. The field judge is coming in now. They're gonna have a discussion on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Keith and Mike, uh, I am still alive down here on the sidelines. And um, just to give y'all a couple quick updates, I know you guys were wondering about 46 Bobby. Um, same thing from earlier, left ankle injury. Um, they've been kind of nursing on the sidelines, having him run up and down the sidelines. And um, off of that last decision by the referees, uh, you had Coach Taylor and everybody else over here all on the field about to go crazy. They were arguing that it actually bounced in the end zone. So, uh, you know, of course the guys came back and um, corrected the decision that was made before. Oh, well, we're so happy to know that you're still on the broadcast team here this afternoon. I, I know you probably were hanging out with Dougie Fresh and Future and even Shaka Khan. I can see Sean D now. Shaka Khan, let me rock it, let me rock it, Shaka Khan. <laughs> Boy, you guys have too much fun sometimes. <laughs> Here we go, Davian Fleming from the gun. Jaguars again bringing the blitz. And we've got penalty markers on the play. Yeah, this is going to go against uh, the Rattlers for early movement. Linworth Leonard actually moved early. Let's see if the Jaguars are still in that 3 3 Right to the snap. False start. Offense. Number two. Five yard run. penalty run. remains. First down. They said two, but actually it was Linworth Lennon who Yeah, 27. Backs us up five, and at 10-18, it makes it first down and 15 for the Rattlers now. The ball is resting is at 15. our own 15-yard line. We're moving right to left. Linworth in motion this time. And here comes the blitz. Damian fires. That's on the drag route coming across the middle. That's uh, Dwayne Harvey. And He's going to get us back to the original line of scrimmage. And it'll make it second down now and 10 to go for a Rattler first down. You know, somebody said the uh, officials' problems were because we've got the NFL replacements <laughs> refs back. Well, there were some uh, NFL replacement refs did come from the MEAC. But I'm not sure where these officials are from. Because it is a cross-conference game. All right, here we go. Linworth Lennon goes in motion. And Damien sets up, fires a drag route again right across the middle. But this is only going to pick up one or two yards. Can make it third down and eight to go for Rattler first now. Yep. Adamson Felix makes the catch. Yep. Damien is passing for a high percentage, but we're just not gaining very much on the plays. Yeah. End of the first quarter, Florida State 7, South Florida 3. End of the first quarter in... Uh, are they in Virginia? It's Bethune-Cookman, 14, Hampton, 3. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming sets up. 
Has time, lots of time, more time, fires, downfield, caught by Travis Harvey at the 40-yard line, and that's a rattler first down. Move those chains. And Keith, Travis had been there waving his hands for a while. Damian waited the one defender who was in the line of fire out, and then a rope to Travis Harvey for the first down. That's a big play to get us out of the hole. Yeah. They mark it at the 39, but still a first down. That moves the chains and sets the Rattlers up in much better field position with 8.46 to play here in the ballgame. Rattlers and Southern Jaguars tied at 14. Keith, we should be able to run the ball against this defense. Yep, here we go. We're going to try it here. That's uh, Eddie Rocker. But we're going to lose yards on the play. Yeah, they're in a 3 3. They got three down linemen, three linebackers. And they're blitzing one of the linebackers on each down to give themselves a four-man rush. Yeah, we lost four yards on that play. Got to give this defensive line credit. They've been tough. They lost their second ball game by a score. Was it 6 nothing? I think they lost to Mississippi to Valley 6-0. Yeah, 6 nothing. So their defense has performed all year. Linworth Lennon comes to the near boundary now in motion. And Dwayne Harvey sets up, steps up in the pocket. And, boy, Dwayne, Damian. Boy, the ball is ripped out. And it's picked up by a Southern Jaguar. And he's going to be tackled. Boy, the ball pops out again. And a Southern Jaguar goes in for the touchdown. The ball was fumbled twice on the play. And Southern's big number, 98. Is going to take it in for the score. Boy, when it bounces your way, it bounces your way. The ball was stripped from quarterback Damian Fleming as he stepped up into the pocket into a crowd of Jaguars. One of the Jaguars, Jaguars ran the ball down to about the 10-yard line where he fumbled. Yeah, he, he fumbled it again. And you're right, big number 98 gets it, goes into the end zone. And just like that, the Jaguars have the lead. Daniel Brown. Okay. Doss will hold, and this will be Matthew for the extra point. Snap placement. Kick is on the way, and it's good. And so just like that now, Southern has their first lead of the night, 21-14, to with 7.33 to play, and we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Here in Atlanta. All right, here we go. Pittman's kick. High end over end. It's fielded by James Owens at the 10 20. And James Owens is going to go down at about the 24 yard line where the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. And the Rattlers, Keith, have seven minutes and 25 seconds to try and tie this ball game in a hard-fought Atlanta Classic. Five-yard penalty, re-kick. Okay, Southern's going to be assessed five yards, and they will re-kick the kickoff. 21-14, Southern leading Florida a &M. Second time today that the uh, Jaguars have been offside. The first time the Rattlers simply took the five yards at the end of the run this time. Trying to get James Owens loose, they're gonna force the Jaguars to kick it again. Try to improve their field position a little bit. And of course, Owens with the speed to go all the way if he gets a crease. Yeah, we need a big break here. Yeah. 
Jaguars certainly an improved football team since Antoine Odoms took over from defensive coordinator to head coach playing inspired football here. All right, Pittman. Actually, this is Hill Matthew going to kick it off. And, uh, boy, here comes the return. And this is Owens. Boy, this is a much better return for the Rams. Boy, the penalty marker's on the play. Penalty marker's going to come down at about the 32-yard line. James Owens returned it out to the 44-yard line, but hold everything. Yeah, Rattler's going to get called for a hold. And we're going to start inside our own 20. Holding on the receiving team. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, damn you. And so we'll spot the football at our own 22-yard line where we'll begin first and 10 from there. Yes, just outside the 20. Yep, trailing 21 to 14. And the Rattler offense that was on fire in the first half, moving the football up and down the field but couldn't put points on the board, has sputtered in the second half. All right, here we go. We run the flare out here to Linworth, and that's just a great defensive tackle out there by Virgil Williams. And Mike, with every play now, the Southern football team becomes more and more confident. Yeah, Travis Harvey Keith missed that block. And that was his man that came up and made the play as they went with the bubble screen. Holding that play to a gain of only one yard. Second down and nine for the Rattlers. Travis Harvey and Linworth Lennon work the near boundary. It's Adamson, Felix, and Dwayne Harvey to the far boundary. And we've got whistles. As the play clock was down to six, so. Please reset the game clock to 7.03. 7.03, going to lose seven seconds off the clock. Reset the play clock to 25. All right, here we go. Dwayne Harvey, Damian Fleming, that is, forced out of the pocket, looking downfield, and Damian lunges forward. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up third down and about eight to go now. He's going to pick up one yard, third and eight for the Rattlers. Nobody able to get open on that play. You've got to give credit to the Jaguars, the halftime adjustments. There were open receivers everywhere in the first half. But here in the second half, since they have gone to this 3-3-5 nickel look, they have done a much better job in coverage. Third down and eight to go. Ball's at our own 23 with 6.09 to play. Damian Fleming sets up, giving chase, completes the pass. It's going to be short of the first down. It's going to be far short of the first down. We're going to pick up a couple of yards on the play. Pass was complete to Dwayne Harvey. But it's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, you got to give the Jaguars credit, Keith. They have made some excellent halftime adjustments. And they have, although the Rattlers are completing passes, they're not gaining very much yardage when they do. So Brandon Holdren checks on the punt. And it will be Virgil Williams. Boy, boy. Oh, we, boy. That, We're going to get a break. Yeah, Brandon Holdren was run into by number 20 of Southern. So is that going to be a roughing? Or That's is that question. going to be a running into as the Rattlers needed seven yards for the first down? It was Terrence Clayton Jr. who ran into Brandon Holdren. But let's see if it's going to be considered roughing. If it's roughing, it's a for automatic first down. Yes, sir. Running into the kicker, defense, five-yard penalty, replay, fourth down. So it'll make it fourth down now, and it's going to be fourth and about two. Two. So let's see which team Coach Taylor is going to send his punt team back out there. 
it was not the roughing the kicker didn't give us the automatic first down all right southern southern has the lead 21 to 14 with five minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the ball game Brandon Holdren is in punt formation. Good snap. And Brandon gets off a beautiful kick. Boy, this is a real boomer. Drives Williams all the way back. And that's Marvin Ross. And Marvin Ross is going to toss him back down at the 15-yard line. They're going to mark his forward progress at the 25. All right, here we go. Dre Joseph has pressure, dumps the screen pass out there. To Coleman, who breaks the tackle and fights his way across the 30, still on his feet, and now down at about the 32-yard line. And so, 4.54 to play in the ball game. Yep, Rattler's running out of time. Got to get a stop here. Can't give up many more first downs. It's going to bring it to a second down. Looks like about four to go for Southern. The ball resting at the Southern 32. And trying to figure out the clock's not running. And now it does. All right, here we go. Jaguars isolated receiver to the far side. And send Lee Doss, who's been their big play receiver this afternoon, wide to the near side with a slot receiver over. That's Michael Berry. Dre Joseph shouting instructions down to his offensive line and now puts him in position under center. Joseph hands off the draw play, and the Rattlers are all over the running back. Let's see if that was Coleman or Nzikwe. The Looks like it was Coleman. Defensive play by Brandon Hepburn. Coming down the line. Big third down play right here, Keith. The Rattlers can get the ball back now. They'll have around three minutes to try and tie this ball game. But a first down is going to make it really tough. Yeah, third down, about four to go for the Southern Jaguars. The ball resting. At their own 32. Clock's ticking, 318 to play. And Dre Joseph pulls it down. He wants to run, and he's, he's, I don't know if he got back to the line of scrimmage. Looks like he lost a yard on the play. Yeah, he's going to be stopped short. And Fourth down. So the Rattler defense did its job. Rattler's going to go with the two minute drill here. They'll be just over two minutes when they take possession of this punt. Yeah, Lenworth Lennon is deep to receive for the Rattlers. And it's Chase Tootin on the punt for Southern. 2.39 to go. Yeah, clock is ticking. Yeah, milking the clock for everything it's worth here. They're going to snap it at about two seconds. And Tootin gets an end over end kick. And boy. What Linworth Lennon feels this on the fly, and Linworth just takes it down to the 37-yard line of Southern. That's an, a gutsy but excellent return by Linworth Lennon. Yeah, got to give him credit. We criticized him in the first half of letting that football bounce. He has made two running catches running right into the teeth of the defense. But, Keith, he saved us about 30 yards of field position by doing that and running it down, and the Rattlers have an excellent chance to tie the ball game as they start this drive at the Jaguar 38. Two minutes and 17 seconds is on the clock. And so the Rattlers now got to make the best of it offensively. Here we go. Triplets to the near boundary for Damian Fleming. Swings it out of the backfield for James Owens. Turns up field. Owens stays in bounds. And now out of down at about the 26-yard line of Southern. That should move the chains, but let's wait and see. Yeah, they're going to have to put that ball down. They may have to bring oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a first down. That's a first down. No, it's, it's going to be a first down. He picks up 11 on that play. 2.08 to go. Clock will start once the 
the chains are in place. Rattlers break the huddle. Adamson Felix and Dwayne Harvey to the far boundary. Travis Harvey near side for Damian Fleming. In the backfield, it's the Rocket Man, Eddie Rocker. Play action. Fleming fires it for Travis Harvey. He wheels and fights his way down to the 17-yard line. Yep. Jaguars tried to come with the blitz, but the Rattlers had the three-step drop throw called. They get it off easily, and Dam and actually Travis, gets Travis out of bounds. is going to fight and get out of bounds. Stops the clock. Minute 55. All right, here we go. Rattlers break the huddle. Dwayne Harvey. Linworth Lennon, twins to the far side. Travis Harvey, near side. Damien swings it out of the backfield for James Owens. He turns up field, and Owens is going to be hit and dropped. Boy, if he could have just gotten by that guy, he might have been in the end zone. Yeah, great block out there on the perimeter. He knocked that man down, but give the guy credit. He jumps up and makes the tackle. First down, the Rattlers can still get another first down at the three-yard line. Here we go, Rattlers. The first down and 10 at the Southern 13-yard line. Minute 40 to go. And this time it will be Travis Harvey and Linworth Lennon, twins to the far boundary. Adamson Felix and Dwayne Harvey to the near boundary. In the backfield, it's the Rocket Man. Southern's going to bring the blitz. Damien has pressure. He's hit. The ball pops out. Did he hold he on, held to, on it? to it? Yeah. Well, but that's a big loss. Clock continues to run now and at 117, run. Yeah. and the Rattlers want timeout. Rattlers, Damian Fleming. Travis Harvey is going to be isolated over here to the near boundary with three receivers. Now here comes Linworth Lennon, so there'll be twins over here and twins to the far side. Man to man coverage. And here we go. They pop it out here to Travis. He's at the 15, cuts back inside, fights his way to the 10, and maybe down to the 8-yard line. Let's see. He gets out of bounds. That should stop the clock at a minute 06. Yeah, they're going to mark him inside the 10 at the 9. nine. It'll be third down. The Rattlers can get a first down at the 3. Yeah, and, and we've been looking for that play all day, Keith. That was a very effective play against Dell State all game last week. We've got two shots now to get the first down or the touchdown. Need six yards for the first down. Here we go. Adamson, Felix, Dwayne Harvey, now Linworth Lennon coming in motion to join Travis Harvey on the near side. And Damian pulls it down. Damian, this boy, he's hit and lunges forward to the seven-yard line, and it's going to bring up fourth down. It's going to bring up fourth down. The Rattlers are going to use another timeout here. And here we go. 49 seconds remaining. It's fourth down for the Rattlers. Game's probably right here. We need a first down. Ball's resting at the Southern, seven. We need to get to the three. We need four yards for the first down. Damien throws it. The pass was supposed to be the, the jump route for Travis. They shut him off so he couldn't get there. It's going to fall incomplete. And with 43 seconds left, looks like the Southern Jaguars are going to escape Atlanta with a big win. Yep, Rattlers are going to fall to two and three on the season. He threw the fade route, Keith. I don't know if it was an option or not, but Travis Harvey was, again, double covered, maybe even triple no, covered triple. on that play. Yeah, they wouldn't even let him get over there to get near the football. So give the Jaguars credit. Well, our players of the game will be uh, Damian Fleming, the quarterback who's had an Outstanding night, just didn't put enough points on the board. Defensively, we're going to go with Devin Roberts, who had a tremendous three quarters, and Brandon Holdren, our special teams punter. But Southerns, one more snap, and that probably will do it. Yeah. Jaguars started off 0 and 2. As a matter of fact, Keith, they don't have to snap it again. Yeah. And now they're going to be 2 and 2 after this big win. And the Rattlers are going to have to regroup quickly, Keith, because they're going to come up to meet a tough and rising Howard Bison team in the nation's capital next week.
Odoms now 2 0 as the head coach. And the Rattlers fall to 2 3 on the season. Well, we'll be back with our Visit Tallahassee Rattler wrap up show after this timeout for our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. If we're going to be champions, we can't be fair weather people. We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the mountain. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the Rapper. Go Rappers! Go! And we're going to strike! And we're going to strike! And we're going to strike again! This could get ugly.